So my name is Alex Kessel. I'm a junior here at s and in engineering management. It's been a, been a good time so far. One of the opportunities that I've had here is I'm a part of the Delta Sigma Phi fraternity. So I'm living with around 51 guys in-house and we have about around 70 people in total. And the fraternity itself is actually, um, it was founded by a Jew and a Christian who were friends. So we have extremely Judeo-Christian values that we hold. And that's really cool. This semester I've really been just practicing um, how many ways can I find uh, to plug the gospel into a conversation? It's it's not as awkward as it as it sounds. You know, you're you're not actually. Uh, it's not like people berate you for for share. They usually don't know. They usually don't fully grasp what the gospel is. And I think that's one thing about outreach that we feel that that we don't do well because we feel like talking about religion is is almost taboo. Uh, but we're not talking about religion here, we're talking about faith, our faith. So why is it taboo to bring into conversation? If it defines who we are, and somebody wants to get to know who you are, and you want to get to know who they are, it should be talked about. And part of what we can do in outreach is just normalize the interaction. You know, you're listening, you're loving, and you're sharing. That's really it. You know, people can connect to our faith in more ways than we think possible. Um, and we're never going to find those ways unless we actually try to explore a little bit, I think. So if I could challenge everyone or encourage everyone to do something, it's find somebody that uh, is completely disinterested or that you know uh, would consider it to be, or you think would, would consider it to be awkward, and just make it not awkward. Try to make it a normal conversation where you're just sharing part of you or you listen to them, and then you can say, the only reason that I have is Christ. Um, the only reason for anything that I have is Christ. We're in the same boat. People listen to that a lot more than, than you'd think, uh, and I'm learning that. So that's been, that's been laid on me this semester, and uh, I'd love for uh, everyone to understand how powerful that can be um, when you just take the time to normalize it in a sense through listening and loving and then speaking on it.